Hello and welcome to Learn with Hema's class. My dear students, in this video we are going to do question and answer sessions of uh, 8th standard general science subject lesson number 11 human body and organ system. If you really like my videos, please do hit the like button. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel Learn with Hema and please don't forget to share the videos with your friends. So let's start. Now the question and answers part, the very first question is match the column. This is just a question. I'll directly come to the answers. Heartbeats, there are a total of 72 heartbeats in a minute. RBC, RBC is 50 to 60 lakh per millimeter cube in our blood. White uh, WBC, that is white blood cells, that is 5000 to 6000 per millimeter cube. Blood donation, 350 ml blood you can donate in a day. Normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius and pH of oxygenated blood is 7.4. Now this is again complete the following table. Organ system, respiratory system and circulatory system and we have to write down the organs and functions. So let's go ahead. So for respiratory system organs are nose, pharynx, windpipe, lungs, alveoli and diaphragm. Functions of the respiratory system are energy production, Cell needs the supply of soluble nutrients and oxygen. Then second circulatory system. Organs are heart, four chambers, atria and ventricles, blood vessels, arteries, veins, capillaries. Now for function. Circulatory system performs function of transport of various substances like H2O, hormones, oxygens, independent organ for blood circulation. Now this is draw neat and label diagram. You will have to, this type of question will come. You will have to draw the respiratory system of a human body. So here the respiratory system, the human body is already drawn and the respiratory system with all the um, labels have been provided over here. And this you can check it in your textbook as well. The same things you can get in the textbook. So this is the nasal cavity, trachea, lungs. Diaphragm, alveoli, bronchiolus, larynx, pharynx. So you can see the markings are here accordingly and you can mark them in your book. This is internal structure of heart. Again, this is very important. Uh, you have to draw the heart also and you have to write the namings also. Or sometimes the drawing is there and you have to give the namings. But you should practice both. You should practice how to draw the heart as well. So here you can see the same thing you can see in your textbook also. This is just the question and answers I have provided with that. Explain with reasons. Human blood is red colored. Human blood contains hemoglobin and iron containing protein. Hemoglobin being red in color gives red color to the human blood. Hence human blood is red in color. Upward and downward movement of diaphragm occurs consecutively. Breathing involves two processes, inspiration and expiration. During inspiration, simultaneous rising up of ribs and lowering of diaphragm causes decrease in pressure on lungs. Due to this, air moves into the lungs through nose. During expiration, ribs return to their original position. Diaphragm rises up and pressure on the lungs increases. Due to this, air moves out of the lungs through nose. Hence, upward and downward movement of diaphragm is necessary to bring about breathing. Blood donation is considered to be superior of all donations. Blood donation without any expectation is always a life saving. Blood is needed in various situations like accidents, bleeding, parturition, surgical operations, etc. Blood donation by a healthy person is used to save the life of a needful, needful person. Blood transfusion is carried out to compensate blood shortage in the body. Hence, blood donation is considered to be the superior of all donations. Person with O blood group is considered as universal donor. A person having blood group O can donate blood to the other blood group. Individuals having blood groups A, B, AB and O can receive blood from a person having blood group O. Hence a person with O blood group is called universal donor. 
food must have limited amount of salts excessive intake of salts causes increase in blood pressure this may lead to hypotension high blood pressure in hypotension unnecessary tension develops in the arteries of the person heart needs to perform more function than normal conditions in case of hypertension hence food must have limited amounts of salts answer the following questions in your own words explain the functional correlation of circulatory system with respiratory digestive and excretory systems so we have to show the functional correlation of circulatory system with respect to respiratory digestive and excretory systems blood is red colored fluid connective tissue which is an important component of the circulatory system the circulatory system consists of heart blood vessels and capillaries blood transports respiratory gases oxygen and carbon dioxide blood carries oxygen from lungs to cells in various body parts and carbon dioxide from tissues to lungs blood takes up simple nutrients like glucose amino acids and fatty acids from the wall of alimentary canal and transports it to the cells and tissues in the body blood carries nitrogenous wastes like ammonia urea creatinine from tissues to the kidneys for excretion explain the structure and function of human blood blood is a red colored fluid material it is a fluid connecting tissue oxygenated blood is red colored salty in taste with a ph of 7.4 it is mainly composed of two components plasma and blood vessels plasma it is a pale yellow alkaline fluid that contains 90 to 92% water 6 to 8% proteins and 1 to 2% inorganic salts albumin distributes water all over the body globulins are concerned with protection fibrinogen and prothrombin helps in blood clotting process inorganic ions calcium sodium potassium controls the function of muscles and nerves ca is for calcium na is for sodium and k is for potassium blood cells first is rbc small circular enucleated red due to hemoglobin produced in bone marrow it, it is actually red bone marrow and their life is 100 to 127 days wbc large nucleated and colorless produced in bone marrow and act as soldiers of our body there are five types of wbc that is basophils eosinophils neutrophils monocytes and lymphocytes they protect us from microbial diseases platelets they are extremely small and disc shaped they participate in blood clotting process functions of blood are first transport of gases oxygen is supplied to the tissues and carbon dioxide from the tissues to lungs transport of nutrients nutrients like glucose amino acids fatty acids are transported to each cell transport of waste materials wastes like ammonia urea creatinine are released by tissues into blood protection antibodies protect the body from microbes and other harmful particles transport of enzymes and hormones transport to the production to the site of their action it helps in thermoregulation it maintains balance of minerals a clot is formed with the protein called fibrinogen explain the importance and need of blood donation blood is required in various situations like accidents bleeding parturition surgical operations etc blood donated by a healthy person is used to save a life of a needy person blood cannot be produced by artificial ways blood production occurs continuously in our body about 350 ml of blood can be collected from a person during donation and our body can restore it within 24 hours healthy people of age more than 18 can donate blood for 3 to 4 times a year explain the differences arteries and veins in arteries they carry blood away from the heart veins they carry the blood towards the heart all arteries carry oxygenated blood except the one carrying blood towards lungs all veins carry oxygenated blood except the one carrying blood from lungs 
they are deeply located in the body most of the veins are superficially located in the body their walls are thick their walls are thin they do not have walls they are provided with walls external respiration and internal respiration it takes place in the lungs external respiration internal respiration it takes place in the cells and tissues air is taken in through noses sent towards lungs through windpipe exchange of gases takes place between cells and tissue fluid this is internal respiration for external again oxygen from inspired air goes into blood oxygen moves from blood into tissue fluid carbon dioxide from various body parts is carried towards the lungs by blood carbon dioxide moves from tissue fluid into blood which health parameters of blood donor should be checked the following health parameters of blood donors should be checked before blood donation first blood group matching of the blood donor with the blood recipient second blood of the donor should be screened for infections like hiv blood pressure and pulse rate of the donor whether the donor is suffering from any infectious disease or has suffered from any in inf- disease recently fill in the blanks using appropriate words given in the bracket so rbcs of the blood contain hemoglobin and iron compound diaphragm is present between thoracic and abdominal cavity cardiac muscles are involuntary ph of oxygenated blood is alkaline production of rbcs occur in red bone marrow find the odd one out A O K A B B. So your K is the odd one. Why? Because those are blood groups. Blood plasma, platelets, blood transfusion, blood corpuscles. So your blood transfusion is the odd one because those are components of blood. Trachea, alveoli, diaphragm, capillaries. Capillaries is the odd one because others are structures of respiratory system. Neutrophils, globulins, albumins. prothrombin your neutrophils is the odd one because others are plasma proteins now read the following paragraph and identify the disease today her child became 1 and 1/2 year old however that child does not seem to be healthy and happy he was continuously crying and gradually becoming weak he has shortness of breath his nails have become blue so he is suffering from asthma Your neighboring uncle has been diagnosed with hypotension. What should be what should he do to keep his blood pressure within normal range? My neighboring uncle must take the following precautions or measures to keep his blood pressure within normal range. He must avoid excessive intake of salt in his diet. He must perform regular physical exercise. He should go for a walk in the morning and evening and he should avoid smoking and intake of alcohol. so thank you with this we end our lesson question answers soon we'll meet with the next lesson till then thank you stay safe stay secure bye bye